cute. Yeah. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. If you are not supposed to be around here? I'm not in the same organization. Oh, I'm the I Jewish guess. Bund. Okay. The others are the crazy okay. Marxists, you know, who, is, who hate Jewish people, uh, I guess. All right. I can respect that. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, on the opposite corner there on the lamppost is uh, the uh, page from uh, Samuel still that I put up there. Oh, the one over here has survived as well. Oh. Not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Sandals. to get book boots on. Oh, it's the boychuk. This is so tiring. No. I have to change the directions for the flow of the traffic. Oh! Face is much better. No? I, I, I didn't use it. I lost it. But thank you. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, too bad. I appreciate them. I, I, uh, I, I really... No, you, no, I used it once and then I lost it. But oh. Yeah, it was nice. Hold on. Sorry, my dad took me. Um, were you, did, did you hear about Chuck Schumer this yeah, week? I agree with him. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with him totally. 100%. Mm -hmm. um, uh, were you last two Mondays ago and two Tuesdays ago? Did you hear about those pro these protests? Yeah, yeah. I was I was there. I went to the gym late because it was spring break. Oh. I, I saw both of them. What did you see? I'd like to know a director. Uh... Oh my God! It was not. See, you're just peacefully holding a sign, having conversations with people. 
these guys were, they, one of them threatened to punch me, they were scream. yes, he almost did, I ran away, he was uh, outside of the... the I repair. saw a photo of one guy who was making Hitler salute, yeah. uh, from the Palestinian youth movement, so I've asked for him to be expelled, right. but that they don't answer me, yeah. Um, um, what and, else? Uh, there was a bunch of, like, chants for Intifada, which I don't agree with, and the violence to continue, and nothing actually for peace, really. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and what I, what, what I also noticed was uh, most of it wasn't calling for the end of the war, or, uh, like, the end of uh, the idea, like, condemning the idea for Netanyahu. It was all just uh, about the Zionists, and, like, kill the Zionists. And, like, but did they say that? Did they say kill? The word kill? Uh, no. I mean, like... There, okay, there's there another kids. demonstration at the synagogue in which somebody shouted death to the Jews. Yeah. So the injunction, you know, against those two organizations, well, three, uh, four or others, um, doesn't include me because I wasn't there. And so the police, you know, respect that. But... Uh, I mean, uh, you're, you're definitely different, but I would largely say that the movement is very anti-Semitic. Like, they focus... I'm not saying it's... An well, the independent Jewish forces, I'll tell you, they expelled me in 2008 because I was criticizing them for their language. Because they... Oh, oh, also. So I was on that side. Palestine protest was here. There was a guy on that side who told me... He was like some uh, old, like, oldish uh, ultra-Orthodox man. He said, we should chant death to Palestine. I was like, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, was, I told him, like, we're no better than them if we say that. And, That's yeah, the problem. A, exactly that stuff. problem. Yeah. Because um, the Zionists are using the same tactics that were used against us. Because they think that it's an just cause. It's called a milchuma mitzvah, a holy war. In Hebrew, it's bizarre. It's, it's it's sort of a facet of Judaism that I don't agree with. Um, and and so they, another thing they say is they uh, they hate Zionists but not Jews. Mm -hmm. But I know you're an exception. But the, when the majority of Jews are Zionists, you can just admit what you're saying and say you hate the majority of Jews. Like, well, majority is, are not Zionists anymore. Uh, yeah, you know that can change. I know that's not true. Well, what do you, what do you mean? Uh, Fifty percent are are. Uh, in well, favor of no, I'm sure in I'm the sure U.S. more than that are not in support of the war uh -huh. or the, uh, Israel's actions. But so I think you're confusing that. We're de I definitely the majority of Jews okay. are in support of it, Israel as an idea. If you go to the root uh, meaning of the term, uh, you know, uh, Zionist, any Jewish person not living in, inside the state of Israel is not a Zionist. So uh, the majority of the Jewish people are, by definition, non-Zionists. Maybe not anti-Zionists, but, but the by that we, uh, the Jews should be able to self not in our name. State. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Yeah. Is that, like the, the, I, I, some, I was talking to some about the Palestine protest. The actual definition, like the strain, you can interpret it as much as you want. There's different, like there's like right-wing Zionists and left-wing Zionists. The actual definition. Is like it's very simple. People tend to like warp it around a lot. It's just the belief that the Jews should self-identify as a state. Yes, uh, as a state. state. Yes. Yeah, but the Jewish Bund position was in favor of self-determination, but not in favor of state. Called for national cultural autonomy. Different thing. Like here, national cultural autonomy. Here, have our own government that we elect. We used to have a government called the Canadian Jewish Congress, and they shut it down and made the uh, Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs. I mean, maybe maybe that's great in your world, but you know, I think the world, even a lot of the Arab countries, know that Israel isn't going anywhere, uh, no matter what they do, really. So I think it's important to push for like more realistic solutions right now. Mutual recognition is what I call yeah, for. Yeah, mutual. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and then negotiate from that point on. Yeah. Because yeah, there's no future without either of us, so we just need to learn how to work together and move forward. Yeah, and then I would introduce my own formula, constitutional formula, that my book. Uh, is uh, the Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations. Both are nations, and both should be independent, but they live together. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That could solve the immediate problem of the, uh, of the settlers in the West Bank as well, because their property rights could be contested on the long term, rather than you know saying they should all be expelled right away. Because they can vote in the uh, in the Hebrew nation elections, and then the Palestinians would vote for their own government. So and they don't have to live in the same piece of land, you know, to to vote for just one government. I mean, one good thing that everyone 
was talking about is there's like pretty much zero chance Netanyahu gets elected.